That's why I kind of like I commend Daryl Shula for going down. Whether they saying it's just for the gram or whatever it is, squashing that beef between Tenth and Thompson and the New Homes and Pentown and Richard Island, those beefs been for years. And I feel like if more people that were honored among our communities did stuff like that, it wouldn't be this bad. from North Philly, so you've been around the gun violence your whole life. My entire life. My father put the first gun I ever held in my hand. I was eight years old. And he was telling me um, out of the back window, it was like a big warehouse back there, and it was like, it was empty, of course, the warehouse was. It's been vacant for years. <clears throat> but there was like a bird on the ledge, and he was like, see if you could hit that. And like, I knocked the bird down. He was like, see if you could do that. He told me, yeah, you my real daughter, man. You got to aim, dude. And this is what I mean by saying he's unorthodox. Like, these are the things he, these are the lessons, like, my dad would teach me. He'd be like, um, hold the gun like this when you hold it down like this and you pop it back. And these, these are the things that he taught me. This is how his, his way of molding me. Um, fighting, that was his thing. Like, you better throw that hard. Dude, you ain't even throw that. Look look how you, your arm swung. That was flimsy. It was things of that nature. Um... It was never like a lovey-dovey thing. Like, yeah, he loved me. He pinched my cheeks. My cheeks is like his favorite thing to worry. Like, yeah, I don't know the cheeks. And then it's like all the other stuff, all the little. <laughs> so your dad, he kind of enforced a toughness in you. He wanted you to be tough. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so with the gun violence, how do you, do you have what's, any solutions? How could we, how could we slow that down? <sighs> Man, a lot of these kids now, ver what I feel is like growing up, you were taught the game. Now I feel like they just watching it and making their own analogies and they can't really figure it out. So when they cross a road, this is what they think they should be doing. It results to violence. It results to a death. It result and, and stupid deaths too. Like it's so many kids and stuff dying from gun violence. And it, I put up a, a video not too long ago, like a couple of days ago, where the um somebody went to visit their nephew at the um yeah, I remember that. At the, at the, uh, the, grave, the yeah. grave. And it was so many fresh bodies. Like, it was so... And all of them, she said none of them was over 25. Hmm. Oh, that broke my spirit. I felt so bad. And it's just like, it's not enough programs in the world to fix it. It's like really going to take our men, our people, our community to get out here and get... Like, that's why I kind of... Like, I commend Daryl Shula for going down... <clears throat> And the, whether they saying it's just for the gram or whatever it is, squashing that beef between Tenth and Thompson and the New Homes and Pentown and Richard Island, those beefs been for years, far be, beyond my uh, youth. Mm. They were going on. So for them to squash a beef, whether they saying it's for media or whatever, that was large. That's heavy. And he got out there and did that. The, Whatever man, I'm not gonna say by himself, but he got he took that initiative mm -hmm. to do it. And I feel like if more people that were honored among our communities did stuff like that, it wouldn't be this bad. I know they got this thing going on now with the paintballs, and I'm not even mad at it. I promise you, I'm not because it's like fun is igniting the fun among them that everybody is getting involved. It's like uh, different hoods are sliding in different hoods and they shooting the paintballs at each other, but it's becoming fun. And I'm just glad, like, oh God, at least they ain't shoot back with real guns. Like they just ran and now they getting their paint guns, paintball guns, and everybody's just paintball, a uh, paintball war. I respect the paintball war over a gun war any day. Mm -hmm. And you can watch the paint off. You throw that out. Thank you for watching Unfiltered. And you know how YouTube works. If you want to see more of this content, like, subscribe, even leave us a comment. We love reading those. Again, we appreciate you watching Unfiltered. We hope to see you next time. Take care.